create a function that has negative infinity to negative 7 inclusive, union negative 4 to negative 2, including the negative 4 but excluding the negative 2, and union 1 to infinity exclusive as the domain. Use closed dots to include the point. Use open dots uh, at the end of line segments or arrays to sig signify the endpoint is excluded or included. Any open dot not associated with the end of array or a line segment will cause the graph to be treated not as a function. Okay, so the idea here is we want to make a function that has this particular set as its domain. And I think what students find uncomfortable here is that there are so many different options that we could possibly use. So one issue here is, for instance, uh, starting with the first set, negative infinity to negative seven. The closed parentheses, sorry, I should say the bracket around the negative seven means inclusive. And inclusive also is represented graphically with a closed dot. Infinity is not a number, so we aren't going to use infinity anywhere in this set. So negative seven, here's what we're going to do. I need to make, I mean, need to make a function so such that it has a domain of negative seven that's included. What that means is I can put any point that I want anywhere where x is negative 7. So I could put one here, here, here. On the x-axis itself, it doesn't really matter. As long as I have some point somewhere that uh, is at negative 7. That's all that matters. So I'm going to use this point right here. Now, I need a piece of a function that it has a part of the domain on this entire set. So I could have a line that looks like this. I could have a line that looks like this. I could have a line that's horizontal. It could be a piece of a parabola. There's a lot of different ways to have a part of a function that is uh, defined on that interval. Now, since it is going to negative infinity, I'm going to put uh, an arrow at the end here, just to indicate that it's continuing on in that fashion. Uh, other options, uh, some people often go with a simpler option of just horizontal lines on the x-axis, and that's perfectly fine. The idea is this function is defined at every single point on this particular domain. All right, and let's try uh, the next part. So going from negative four to negative two, we are including the negative four because it has a bracket. So we'll use a closed dot there. We are excluding the negative two, so we'll use an open circle there. And these are intervals on the x-axis. So I'm finding negative four on the x and negative two on the x. And I just need points somewhere. Um, so I could choose this point, for instance, because that point has an x value of negative four. And I could choose that point. It doesn't really make a difference. As long as I'm choosing points that have x values of negative four and positive two, it doesn't matter what I choose. So these two points are great. Now, I am defined on the entire interval between those two points, so I need some portion of a function that would do that. An easy way of doing that is to make a line. It, however, could be curved as well. Um, that doesn't matter. As long as you have some part of a function somewhere, that's great. Then the last portion is from one to infinity. All right, now the parentheses is exclusion, so we use an open circle. And I'll just pick some value for the y. It 
doesn't matter. And then we're going to infinity, so I just need to have a line or a curve or something that's extending off to infinity. So this right here is a perfectly valid function that has this set right here as its domain. There are many other options. This is just one of them. Now let me switch back into the homework system and show you how to actually type this into the system to ensure you get the question correct. Okay, so I would recommend starting off with points. So do closed circles and open circles where necessary. And honestly, I try not to put them on the x-axis just because things get cluttered. So I'm going, I need a closed circle uh, where x is negative 7. All right, now to finish off this interval, I need a point at negative infinity, but there is no point at negative infinity. However, notice there's two kinds of lines here. We have a segment, and this one's a ray. So what I will do is choose the ray because it goes off to infinity in one direction, and I'll start this as my first point, and then just allow it to go somewhere to infinity back this direction. And it doesn't matter what that looks like. So how about that? The next set is from negative 4 on the x, which is included. And I can pick any y value as long as I'm on the x value of negative 4. And negative 2 on the x. And again, I can choose any y value that I want as long as I have the x value of negative 2. Now, uh, notice I did a closed circle for the bracket, open circle for the parentheses. Now I need a line, I'm sorry, I need a segment, which is just a portion of a line that stops at two points. So I need that to be a segment between those two. And don't mind that it fills in that open circle with a point there. That's, that's understood by the system, it's not a problem. All right, the last set goes from one, and one is not included, and this is on the x again. So uh, maybe I'll pick some random y value down here. And then I need to go to infinity, so I need a ray instead of a segment. So I just start at this point and then go off to infinity somewhere. It doesn't really particularly matter. And once you put that in, you can go down here to submit. And as long as you have provided a function that has a domain uh, as provided in the question, you're all set.